My journey begins on the Argentinian Pampas. If you had to send me anywhere in the world, it would be here. It's like a, a scene out of Bonanza. <laughs> it's brilliant, it's proper cowboy country. This is my kind of farming. Free range cattle ranching on a massive scale. It's got to be every boy's dream to do this. The dust, the smell of the horses, these guys. And you really suddenly get, I'm in Argentina. This may seem a million miles from your local supermarket, but the reason I've come to Argentina is to see a revolution that's happened to farming here. It's a revolution that affects what we all eat. And it's all down to these. Genetically modified soya beans. This single crop has made Argentina the GM capital of the world. This doesn't look much at the moment because all the soybeans have been harvested out here, but you can imagine that this was just a huge field full of soybean crop. And the unique thing about this particular strain is that it's been genetically modified to be resistant to a particular weed killer. So you can put the weed killer down, it kills all the weeds, but not the crop. And it's that fact that has led to a huge revolution in Argentina's agricultural output. If you grow GM and ordinary soy side by side, it's impossible to tell the difference between them until you spray them with weed killer. This one small change means it's possible to grow the crop using less herbicide. It's made soy farming much more profitable and I'm wondering if it's a technology that we should all adopt. A lot of people, if they, if they hear that, would think it's a bit strange um, because the way I farm, you know, um, I'm all about traditional breeds, free range, that sort of whole wholesome thing. But in terms of science and coming from a science background, I think the technology is fascinating and there needs to be lots of science done on GM so we've got a better understanding. But I don't think it's right to straight away brush it aside as the devil's work because you can't have an opinion on something until you see all the facts. So I'm here to see the facts.